everyone. Okay, so first off, you probably have noticed my voice is a little bit uh, deeper than normal. <laughs> my man voice. I'm a little bit sick at the moment, so um, yesterday I didn't even have a voice. I couldn't talk at all. <laughs> so at least it's come back, because I really wanted to do this tutorial for you. Um, it's a white swan look from the movie The Black Swan. And I've actually been asked to model for a photo shoot, which is black swan theme. And we're starting off with a white swan look and then doing the black swan. And I was like, I have to do a tutorial for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, this is the white swan look and then later I'm going to show you how to create that black swan look with the really that ma feather mask um, look across the eyes. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. Alright, so let's start off with priming your eyelids. Now I'm going to put a um, very shimmery, beigey colour on the lid. So you can see that. Um, yeah, so it's just a really nice, bright, shimmery colour. Just using a flat shader brush, <clears throat> a 329. You're going to apply that all over your lid. Alright, so the next step is I'm going to put some um, a lightish brown and then a dark brown in the crease, as you can see on this side. I'm using my 88 Warm palette for the brown, starting off with this light brown here, and then we'll be using this dark brown, and I'm going to mix it with this like bronzy brown. Going in with your little dome brush. Now we're just going to get that dark brown. Putting that right in the socket. I'm just going to blend it with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm just going to take those two browns and bring it under the lower lash line and add a little bit of black as well, just to add some darkness. Just using a thin flat brush, using that light brown first. I'm only going from the end of um, my eye here to where my eyelashes end. Now I'm putting the dark brown and then mixing some black. Only bringing that about halfway. So now I'm just going to put some white in the inner corner of my eye using just a white <coughs> cold pencil. And then I'll blend it out with the white eyeshadow. So now I'm just going to use a shimmery white <coughs> colour by Barry M and blend out this white. Grabbing that um, white pencil again, I'm going to create like a triangle shape, <coughs> like here. up and then I'm going to go over that with the white eyeshadow just to intensify now I'm going to line my eyes with a gel liner just the bobby brown one black ink and using a blue bent liner brush by Makeup Geek. I just want a really thin line for this look and then doing a little bit of a flick following that white line. So 
So just a very thin line. Doesn't need to be too thick. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes, put some mascara on, and then I'll show you how to put on some false eyelashes. Alright, so I've done my um, eyelashes. <clears throat> I was going to show you, but then I decided I'll just do an actual video on how to apply false eyelashes. So I've just applied half once, half once today, and I just remembered that I didn't show you blending up here. Using your fluffy brush, and I'm just using a shimmery goldy sort of colour. It's um, MAC Vanilla Pigment. Just to highlight up here and blend out that brown. That looks better. I knew there was something missing. <laughs> Alright, so that's the eyes done. I'm just going to zoom out and I'll show you the rest of the face. So the white swan look is very pale, so just use the palest foundation that you've got. I'm using um, <coughs> Revlon Color Stay in the color Ivory. Um, I've already done this side of my face, you can see it's quite pale. Put some on the back of your hand, using my flat Kabuki brush by Sigma. This brush is amazing. I think everyone should own one. And it's a plain foundation all over. So it is more um, paler than my actual skin. I'm going to bring it down onto my neck as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you cheeks and then lastly lips. I don't have a lot of colour on my lip, um, lips, I mean cheeks. So I'm just going to use this um, blush here. It's just a really soft pink peachy colour. Using an angled brush, just applying that just underneath my cheekbones. On my lips, I'm just going to put a nude co colour. Using this one, uh, it's called Tea Rose by NYX. So this is the completed look. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, if you do, please let me know by commenting down below or giving me a thumbs up. That'll be great. Thank you guys. See ya.